Good morning. Uh, don't you wish we could all go back to those days where we slept like babies? But uh, not anymore. So where is my clicker? Oh, here. So I go like this. OK. So I just moved to Ocala about three weeks ago. So a lot of you people don't know me. I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Andre Nimet. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. Thanks for that accent that I have now. So if you don't understand me, ask me questions after. Um, I moved to the United States back in 1985. I did pharmaceutical research at uh, Mount Sinai Hospital in Miami Beach. Also did uh, comparative pathology at the University of Miami. I joined the Air Force back in 2001 after seeing things that happened in the war and stuff, and I wanted to serve the country. I became an air traffic controller. Then I graduated from the Atlantic Institute of Oriental Medicine with a master's degree in acupuncture, and I'm nationally board certified. So let's talk about uh, sleeping disorders. About 50 to 7 million people uh, suffer a sleeping disorder. 48% um, snore or have sleep apnea. 68%, um, I believe, of people that have uh, sleep apnea do not continue with their treatment. Um, causes a lot of uh, deaths and stuff like that. So don't fall asleep, <coughs> sleep more at night. So this is the age group that you should be sleeping at the uh, seven to nine hours for adults. And as you can see, it's more hours of sleep um, during, uh, for, for when you're younger. <coughs> Sorry, my mouth is dry. Um, so this kind of like proves or, or gives you the point that when you are younger, you, your mind, your body needs more sleep. So sleep is important. So what this is basically saying is that um, if you're not sleeping the seven hours like you're supposed to, you are going to have problems later on in life. It's kind of like the person that smokes cigarettes for 10, 15 years and they're fine and dandy, and then at the end they have lung cancer, CPOD, all kinds of problems. Okay, so most of them are heart disease, heart attack failures, cardiovascular, uh, diabetes, gait wane, uh, weight, <laughs> weight gain, and uh, kills the sex drive. So if anybody here has that problem, come and see me. <laughs> So um, when we sleep, we do a lot of stuff. Uh, our muscles get, um, they get rejuvenated. Um, our heart is a muscle, actually. Uh, so that's why it does affect uh, the heart problems. And also uh, produces insulin levels, regulates the insulin. Um, so you, if you're not sleepy, you might develop um, uh, type 2 diabetes and um, reduces inflammation, which affects the heart and the cardiovascular system. So what happens when people don't go to sleep or they go to the doctor? They give them ambient. But look at all the side effects. And I don't even know why if people read this, they, they take it. Because it's, right. <laughs> you know? Actually right out. All these commercials, well, if you take this medicine, you might be at risk of diarrhea, I don't know, like <laughs> heart attack, dying, and like, why are you taking that? Not all, medic uh, all medications are bad. You know, there's, modern medicine has very good um, medications, but that's what we're trying to get you off um, in a more holistic way. That's kind of how acupuncture started. And the only thing missing there is, and I'm sleeping better too. <laughs> no, no, kind of. So my clinic, what I specialize in sleeping disorders, um, mental disorders, uh, substance abuse, uh, we do have group meetings every Wednesday at 1.30 for free, uh, where people can come, they talk to each other about what problems they have, what works, what doesn't work, and it's very good for everybody. I also uh, give them a few tips of what you can do to fall asleep or stay asleep, and um, if they want a treatment, I can see them right after. Uh, we have several formulas, they're very good, um, they're not addicting, they don't cause any damage to your body or future problems. So the way it works kind of is we're all connected everywhere, our organs, everything. So we have the sang and the fu organs. The sang are more exterior organs, the fu are more interior. So for example, if you have uh, anger issues, anger affects uh, the earth, which is worry, the spleen and the stomach, or can affect the heart. So that's why if I have five people that have insomnia, I have to treat them differently depending, <coughs> sorry, depending on what's wrong with them. So we look at your tongue, believe it or not, your tongues look like that sometimes, and that's how we can determine which pattern I need to treat. <coughs> so that's not just a cool sign where you get a tattoo in your body or get a bumper sticker. It's kind of really like the basis of life. You have to keep a balance, and acupuncture gives you that balance. 
So yeah, we didn't come to her with Percocets and bags of stuff like that. So it's better to do something more in a, a holistic approach. And that's what acupuncture does. And answer more questions, because six minutes go by real quick. Yeah. <laughs>